What's up, everybody? This is Stone Cold Steve Austin impersonator Phil McDonald reminding you after the video to go to patreon.com forward slash Stephen Larson and check out W Steve W After Dark, the Patreon exclusive W Steve W video. Next match. All right, welcome everybody to W. Steve W. I'm Steve here, joined as always by the Enforcer. And we have got some action tonight. First up, oh, it's the Gilson family. Oh, God. Whoa. Akira Gilson wow. with apparently the ghost. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, whoa. These guys have magical powers, man. They are. So this is the Gilson family, known for Gilson family mowers. Company yes. actually went out of business a long time ago, uh, but uh, the last of their empire money is being spent here in W. Steve W. And uh, Kira Gilson, she will not rest until she gets her hands on the W. Steve W. World title. She's got a number one contender match against Crystal White tonight. This is going to be an amazing match here, folks. For those that don't know, Akira is the wrestling protege the aficionado the last hope for the gilson family to get some money into their wallets and here is her opponent tonight crystal white oh who is this back here with crystal white look at this not crystal white is not coming out alone not surprising at all enforcer let the people know who crystal white's coming out with tonight. oh she is out you could see by that um, by that massive massively bright red hat of course it is Cronus, oh, and his one man. job is to make America Cronus again. And again, we don't even know when America was actually Cronus. I, uh, I'll be honest with you. Number one, it's shocking that Crystal White's out here wearing a, a, a mask. Amazing. Amazing. Given there. that she's oh. with Cronus, because last I heard he was bitching about the masking policy at the last uh, place that he worked, of course. We don't have one here at W. Steve W. And there uh, is the bell. We are off to the races here. Oh. Akira Gilson immediately going after Crystal White. Oh, laying into her with some vicious headbutt. shots and a headbutt. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, look, look at this. Just using the power, trying to get this thing over. Oh, over and done with. Trying to conserve that energy for hopefully her championship opportunity. Absolutely. You don't want to get too close or go too long with Crystal White. Uh, yeah. She might uh, get in her head to bite you. She and may actually have that, absolutely. And then, of course, we're not sure if she's had rabies shots or not. We're not sure if she's had any shots, but she will wear a mask, so that is something. One shot I can guarantee Cronus hasn't had, the COVID vaccine. That and the boosters that accompany it. You know that is not rattling around his body, but multiple, multiple strains of this horrible virus is in his system right now, I'm sure. So as you can see, Akira Gilson's come out with her family, the Gilson family, Gil Gilson, the patriarch, uh, her brother, uh, Fred Gilson, who's in action later on tonight against Ultimo Larson. Of course, Fred Gilson was supposed to be the heir apparent to the Gilson family fortune, but a, a, a horrific Gilson mower accident left him scarred, disfigured, with third degree burns across 103% of his body. They're also joined by uh, their landscaper, Frank, as Akira Gelson tries to end this early Ooh. with a big splash. Only gets two. Who can everybody? As everybody uh, hopefully remembers or probably doesn't know because in alternate history, Gilson could have been the number one riding lawnmower in the world. But because Fred had that horrible accident during the shareholders meeting yes. immediately stocks plummeted and John Deere was there to just get the company out of chapter 7 bankruptcy and just get it for pennies so on as, the dollar. as the story goes of course they were there at that shareholders meeting all the press was there they were there to yes. debut the new Gilson 3000 as uh, <clears throat> whoa oh, this two match almost there, came to an White. end during oh, the middle of goodness. our story uh, so uh, during this uh, presentation of the new Gilson 3000, Fred tried to use it, and uh, and unfortunately it just it, it it was like a massive fire slash 
uh, you know, rusty blades everywhere. It was just an absolute mess. It Don't get too bad. close to Fred. He's disgusting. No. no, absolutely not. Yep. And oh, there's the one. There's a two. Oh Three. my oh, gosh! Crystal what was white. that? Oh, that was man. a fast match. Unbelievable. Is this now the new low for the Gilson clan? They figured that this was a <laughs> Oh, Easy one, Gil. two, three here. Gil, Gil looks, looks pissed off. Gil's wondering, man, should he have just bet his last cents on the ponies? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's uh, that could be. I guess there's your new number one contender to the W Steve W World Title, oh, Crystal man. White. Speaking of the Gilson family, this show is sponsored by the Gilsons. We couldn't do W Steve W without the Gilsons, so let's get a word from them. There's a lot of tractors you can look at, but only one stands out as America's best buy. The Gilson Yard Tractor. This powerful performer can do more jobs than a plain lawn tractor or a rear engine rider. It mows, cleans the yard, tills the garden, takes care of the snow, and more. Available at Leo's Automotive, Fountain Sports Shop, and Lynn's Machine Shop. Before we continue on with the show today, I want to remind you all about the great deals over at WrestleJuice.com. WrestleJuice.com. We got the, the fuck. We got we got. Was my hand? We got shirts. We got hoodies. We got stickers. Wow, great! At WrestleJuice.com. Go there now. Of course, uh, I've got some info. Something's going on backstage. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I should have seen this coming. You Brett knew it was going to happen. Hitman Hart and Bill Cena, real name Bill Goldberg, from, but a different, from a different universe, right, right. are going at it backstage near the catering area. They, These two, I, Bret Hart just walked right up to Bill Cena said, hey, fuck you, and then, and then just started laying into him, and this, right. is, this is what's going on backstage now. I'm pre pretty sure uh, uh, Bill Cena has no idea what this beef is being from an alternate universe, but he's not going to turn down a fight. He is Bill Cena after all. Bret Hart doesn't care. He sees somebody in the shape and the face of a Bill Goldberg. He's going to look to pound him. No whammies indeed. Uh, so I've got a little bit of info, some insider info here from Bill Cena's alternate universe where Ooh. Bill Goldberg went to WWE instead of the power plant and was given the John Cena gimmick uh, before our John Cena got the gimmick. Uh, and uh, evidently there, uh, Bret Hart did not leave WWF and Bill Goldberg, I'm sorry, Bill Cena ended his career there as well. So in oh, every wow. conceivable universe, seemingly, oh. this rivalry is alive and well. So I'm wondering if this rivalry ended, if this is the same thing between uh, universes. Did Bill Goldberg end Bret Hart's career in that universe with a kick wearing his jorts? That's that, what I'm wondering. It's entirely possible. Uh, what I'm seeing now, though, is two guys. Oh, oh my goodness. Bret Hart probably at his age. He looks great, by the way. But Looking he probably, amazing here. probably should not be uh, participating. Oh, 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 a little bit of compassion? Oh, okay. Is this a little bit of compassion is, is here this, from Bill Cena? Does Bill realize that this Bret Hart has major, major issues with him and realizing, hey, gotta calm me down? Oh, listen, or, man, he's just talking shit right here. Or is they just ca calling the next spot? That's what it was. <laughs> I think he was just calling the next spot, yeah. Oh, oh no, now. it's your turn to bend over for me, Bill Cena. <laughs> Shoes on the other foot right there. Bret Hart goes to take a table. Bill yeah, Cena lets him. Oh, oh drop toe hold. Drop toe hold right there. Wow, look at this. Who would have thought Bill Cena? I'm sorry, I think of Bill Goldberg when I see this, but this but the clothing looks appropriate for this maneuver. It really does. Oh. Absolutely. He's got his move set as well. Uh Bret Hart's able to fight out of the STFU. Oh, he picks up oh. Bill Cena. Oh my oh. god. Oh, drops oh. with a huge pile driver right, right in that. Concrete. Right on the right on the concrete, the unforgiving concrete. He's gonna try again. He's tried with two other chairs. They have no success. Third time is the charm, possibly. We'll find we'll out. Be able to connect. Oh, Guys, oh bleh. swing and a miss. I'm swinging a hit. Oh wow, he just oh, phased no, through him. Oh, just, oh, oh, picked oh, him up. oh, dude, dude, oh dude, my dude. god, look at that. He just oh, dropped one with oh, an oh. fu. 
Oh. Oh, look, oh punches, shots punches. to the head. Kicks. Oh. 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 Oh, Whoa, Bill oh Cena. my God. What a maneuver there by Bill Cena. Oh. Just wow. working the ball, oh, the smaller the back, just getting all this punishment put upon it. Oh. He is absolutely getting the better of the hitman in this oh. backstage vicious oh. brawl. But will he be able oh. to break out of the Scorpion Deathlock, aka <laughs> yes. the sharpshooter? I like that it's being called the Scorpion Deathlock. There yeah, that's go. what we call it here in WC. We're big Sting fans. Go. Oh no! Oh, he gets out. Let's get out of it. Oh, he gets out of it. Look at that. Bill Cena is able to, to get the out face of it. There. Oh, Locked man. up here, picking him up, using that power. What's he going to do with him? Just oh. flings him like a sack of dude right onto the floor. Oh. Let me tell you, I've I've already seen a couple of photographers from TMZ. This is definitely going to make the headlines, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here I had no idea TV. that Bill Cena is a southpaw. Nice oh. to know. Oh. 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 How did that not get the job done? Oh, that was a oh, second what? F5. Oh, that was a second, uh, uh, what is that? Hey, hey. adjustment? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. This this brawl does not seem to be ending at all. Look at this. You know what? You know what I love about W Steve W. A backstage brawl would normal unless it's sanctioned and, and written upon. You'd have uh, a road agents, producers, referees back there. W Steve W. There are people right off camera, right there, mm -hmm. eating their food from catering, just enjoying this action. It's They're feeling free, like VIPs right now. It's free entertainment. Uh, you know, these guys, some, they might see a murder. This is like the old uh, Roman days of the, uh, at the, at the uh, Colosseum, whatever they call it. Absolutely, you know. They, 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 they die. There's a bunch of, yeah, they, yes, they just did. Oh, oh God. Just like that. Look, the, I know what died right there. That table just immediately just splintered into a thousand pieces. Oh, what is oh, he doing with Bret Hart here? Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, man. Trauma. Wow. Bill Cena just annihilated Bret Hart with that maneuver. That was rough. My goodness gracious. That was right near the catering where uh, check on that man. Where we had somebody. Can somebody please check on Bret Hart where our amazing, while our amazing sponsors from Del Taco catering uh, backstage there today. Uh, are sponsoring the show. Let's get a word in from Del Taco. Whenever I feel like a great taste of meal, I go back to Del Taco again. And you'll come back for our new Big Del Burrito. It's busting with natural cheddar cheese, savory beans, pure sour cream, lettuce, tomato, and spicy beef. Big Del Burrito. It's the biggest value in town. Del Taco's hot stuff. I just can't get enough. So I'm back in Del Taco again. Hot stuff. Wednesday, this practical joker ripped off thousands and laughed all the way to the bank. In an all-new update, find out if his victims get the last laugh. Unsolved Mysteries on NBC Wednesday. All right, we are back, everybody, here at W. Steve W. After that unsettling, unsettling brawl between uh, Brett Hitman Hart and Bill Cena. Oh, it's the Gilsons oh. again. Fred Gilson. Good Lord, this is an ugly. Oh, who's oh, yeah. that? That oh, ghost man, Frank. Frank, he, just, he well, was there. He was, he was there, there when the accident went down, and his ghost continues to stalk the Gilson family. Is he real? Is he is he a specter? Is he in constant purgatory? Is that is that possibly what it could be? But this right here, this was the old eldest son of Gil Gilson, Fred. He was supposed to be. He was supposed to be the one. And nah. Not at all. Well, here's the thing, too. They just, yeah, as Ultimo Larson and the Enforcer come out with him. There you go. Look at that. Look at Ultimo there with that Volton Black looking amazing there. Why aren't you keeping up with him? Well, you know, because, you know, I'm slow and I'm big. <laughs> and if I run, do I look imposing if I'm running everywhere? Do you like, uh, do you look like Gallows when he runs? <laughs> like a cow? Like yeah. a little baby, baby, like cow. A baby <laughs> cow? Yeah. Absolutely, man. Hey, I I would not run down any ramp because that is just a head of steam leading for trouble. Absolutely. So today's contest, Fred Gilson, they're looking to get on the on on, on the board today with they a are. win, making a case for that Wrestle Juice title. Of course, uh, Ultimo Larson and oh. Fred Gilson both going at it uh, to make their case to be number one contender for Hoss Hart's Wrestle Juice Championship. But oh. later on. 
on Sweet. W Steve W After Dark, the Patreon exclusive at patreon.com forward slash Stephen Larson. Uh, there will be a number one contender match. Oh, oh, probably should be on this episode of uh, W Steve W, but I'm going to paywall that shit. Absolutely. Oh, my Absolutely. God. Oh. Fred Gilson, but Ultimo Larson way too fast. Way oh, too fast. No. That's what he's got. Ultimo indeed. Ultimo in speed. Absolutely. In reaction times. What are you telling him down there, by the way? I see you're pretty close up to the action. The Gilsons like to stand back I'll, a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I am giving Larson my Del Taco order right now. Oh, that's okay. So he's going to go a little bit later. Okay. That's, that's right. Good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, hey, man, let me get three chicken soft tacos, small order of uh, fries. Ultimo he's Larson like, looks, uh, he, he looks like he's a little bit distracted by somebody in the crowd and i don't know Ooh. uh he, he might have a heckler out there i don't know he's he's really not performing all that great no not at all little, he's oh. a little distracted oh man oh but he's come alive he's come oh, alive he's come, yeah yeah you know what he must have heard you talking crap through commentary could be right there and now now he's kicked himself or you know he finally put that order in the app for later, and now he's ready to get down with business. Now he is fired up, ready to go. You know, he's got a bunch of... Uh, oh, look at the speed oh. right there. He's got a, a bunch of grilled chicken soft tacos Ooh. on the way. Swing and a miss. He might be uh, too anxious. But again, yeah. I keep on hearing a, 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 a somebody out in the crowd yelling. And, uh, do, and Do you? Are you yeah. able to pinpoint like what they're saying where or where it might be in the crowd? You know what? After this episode, I'm going to have to go through some of the tape. And, okay. uh, and see if we can find there seems to be some sort of heckler out there in the crowd at Ultimo Larson heckler apparently yep. uh, I mean this is a, it's a it's a ruckus crowd here for sure oh but oh my Ooh. god that was stiff oh oh, oh Fred talk Gilson. about stiff just landed on his chest with a big kick as well Fred's taking it to Ultimo here Oh my God! And I do absolutely nothing. I'm there w w waiting for my chicken soft tacos for sure. Yeah, I don't blame you. Ultimo Larson's in a predicament right here. Yeah, the, middle of the ring there. Look at look at the look on Akira Gilson's face. I'm not sure how happy she's going to be if Fred Gilson wins this. By the way. No, no. Oh, oh, Ultimo sibling trying rivalry. Of course, she was pro probably extremely disappointed about her outcome earlier in the night as well. There is a rumor though that backstage Gil Gilson was seen talking to Dark Lord Steve about what happened in that match. Uh, if there's one thing uh, Gil Gilson's good at, it's politicking, politicking and using his money to get what he wants. Absolutely. What's going to happen here is there's a one, there's a two. Oh, oh two count there. Two, Ultimo. Two. That was complaining close. Complaining about officiating. Like, he also uh, just pointed out to the crowd. He just pointed oh. out to somebody out there, the unknown heckler of Ultimo Larson. Who is that oh. man? He's trying to f finish this off in the triangle here to try and find a, maybe, possibly that person you were saying he was pointing to? Could be. Oh, man. Could be. I don't know. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, Hot Ultimo. action here for the Wrestle Juice number one contendership. Uh, possibilities. Of course, the targeted yes. is going to yep. be fighting heavy metal later on today at WSTW After Dark. Patreon exclusive. Patreon.com for Steven Larson. Excellent, excellent. And you know what could happen here if Hoss Hart is a double champ? He may end up doing what usually happens here, and he just relinquishes what is considered the mid-level mid-card belt. So this may be a de facto championship match if Hoss Hart ends up winning that match tonight. That's a good point. Maybe Dark oh. Lord Steve will just hand that title over to that whoever wins this match. We don't know. The motives. We don't know how he works. Dark Lord no. Steve, not a lot known about him, of course. As of course Ultimo. just works on a whim. Oh, know? wow. Does he thinks that might have done it. He might know something here. Ooh. And one, two, three, Ultimo oh, Larson wins. Ultimo. Oh, wow. my goodness. Never seen that done before. Into a submission, realizing it's a failure, right into a pin, and realizing the pin will get the job done. Ultimo Larson, knowing, getting, finding ways to get the W. And another loss for the Gilsons. the Gilsons. They cannot win for nothing here at nope. WST. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. Whoa, whoa, look whoa. The referee ref right is there. just. Oh, wow. man. The referee's in it. <laughs> referee's in it. <laughs> Get out of there, ref. Get out of the shot. What are you doing? My goodness wonder, gracious. What if Ultimo's looking for that heckler now that the match it is looks over? Like it. it looks like looking he's looking for there. that person. He's like, who was that guy? Where? Who, who was that guy heckling? Ultimo Larson. I'll have to take a look at the tape. Uh, after the show today and see if we can have an answer for you 
next week. But first, Absolutely. it was a Gilson match. We're going to get a Gilson ad, everybody. I know people don't come to a Ponderosa Steakhouse because I give free refills on coffee and Coca-Cola. Or because of my terrific salad bar. Or even because the price is so right. They come because the steaks are delicious. All USDA inspected and approved sirloins, T-bones, and ribeyes. I know the steak is the real star. I'm only here for atmosphere. Applause, applause for the great steaks at Ponderosa. And thank you once again to the Gilsons for sponsoring W. Steve W. It's time for our main event. We're going to crown ourselves a new W. Steve W. Heavyweight champion. Oh man, we've been talking about it for weeks here. This has all been leading up to this. The shape has made it from his semifinal match, winning it last week. He has had less time to get ready for this, but I think a man wielding a chainsaw has everything that is needed to be champion of this promotion. Given the way he dominated Cronus last week, uh, I think that the shape is in really good shape to take hey. home the W. Steve W. Heavyweight title. Don't encourage Absol me. Absolutely. Will W. Steve W. be in the same shape it, it will oh, be in after yeah, yeah. this championship title match will happen? Yeah. Let's find out here. We'll find out soon enough. Absolutely. Of course, he's going to be taking on Haas Hart, who should have the legend, Brett Hitman Hart, who is in a brutal... A brutal, vicious backstage brawl with Bill Cena earlier in the night. Here comes Haas. Ha oh, no. Oh, no Brett. No Brett there. He's realizing, hey, man, you got yourself a tough match out there. This is my time right here. The Wrestle Juice champion, Haas Hart, looking to be champ champ here in W. Steve W. I'm, my, the word that I'm getting right now is yeah. that uh, Brett Hitman Hart is suffering multiple concussions across various parts of his brain, broken right. ribs, uh, oh. uh, bruised lungs, uh, bruised kidneys, bruised ribs, and a bruised ego more than anything. Absolutely. I think, you know what? I think he yep. made up all the other shit. It's the ego that's the big problem. It's the ego is a problem. You know what? I would not be surprised if Haas Hart, if he wins this match, he will think everything you have said is just a tenderized Bret Hart. And then you know what that means, man. He's up for being put on that grill and being eaten by his nephew, Haas I mean, Hart. <laughs> you know, right now we have evidence that Haas Hart might be a cannibal. You Might know, be, and and, and you know, and just gonna lay it out there flat for everybody. But we've he, got he a thought, yep. possible cannibalism here in the main event. Uh, be it, it the shape champ, who, who he could be a he could be a, a champ champ too. Yeah. Yep. Oh wow, nice. The W Steve W Cha Pian Cha Pian. Oh look at that! Look at that champion's belt. What a beautiful, beautiful. Cha Pian ship. Beautiful Cha Pian ship. All I feel right. like such a, oh, look at these two big beefy men. I didn't realize these are some big boys out here, man. These are big dudes. These are this is a lot of meat in the ring right here. Yep, going yep, at it easily. Yep. 700 pounds in this ring right here to crown man. a new W Steve W champion oh. in our main event. TDT right away. Do you think Dark Lord Steve put in the money to reinforce this ring? God, or no. is it just held together? Oh, it's just okay. It's just held together with hopes and dreams. Well, from what I understand, Dark Lord Steve is from yet another alternate universe. Uh, his money's completely worthless here. <laughs> we just let him think he's doing stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> and then we take care of the the conglomerate go. takes care of the rest. There you go. Uh, but uh, trust fund. Yeah, exactly. But the shape is really taking it to Haas Hart in these early goings here again. Oh. Haas Hart beat Cheeseburger, who was the wild favorite yeah. to win that semifinal matchup in week one here at W. Oh. Steve W. Yeah. But Haas Hart has been on a roll collecting that W that Wrestle Juice title in that first episode as well. And uh, Jack Loomis and Leslie Kruger uh, look on as part of the shape's family. Of course, Leslie Kruger... Uh, from what I understand, is uh, uh, Steve's ex-girlfriend from uh, from high school. So right, right. backstage, there's been a little bit of tension between Leslie Kruger and Lacey here, uh, yeah. much to the delight of Steve here. Don't tell oh. anybody. Just gets punched there. It's amazing how D Dark Lord Steve loves the 
the uh, the backstage drama to have his uh, his his uh, someone that he had a relationship with in his past with his current current main squeeze. It's amazing. Oh yeah, the Haas heart loves to work. He just thrives absolutely. in just the chaos. I guess. Oh, absolutely. Very unprofessional, of Steve, to behave that way. But uh, what are you gonna do? This is a wrestling promotion. Seems par for the course. As the shape goes up to the top, is he gonna end it here? What's he gonna do to Haas heart? He comes off the top. Oh, oh, just just throws his girth right onto Haas Hart. I don't even know if that was a maneuver. It just sort of just flings his body into him. Haas Hart, just like that, comes alive, though, and lays the shape down with a splash. Oh, he's going to deadlift oh, gonna him. him Look oh. at that. Whoa. Oh, he's going to throw him out? You think? Oh, he's he, just going to spin him around. Impressive. He easily could, but no, he keeps him on the inside. Best oh. to be focused. And not engage in outside. What is happening? What, what, what? has just oh, happened here? The shape what? teleported. Oh, the shape oh, just whoa. teleported behind us. Oh. oh, wow. Some sort of supernatural maneuvers here that the shape has. By, by the looks of it, it looks like he is possibly doing that. Oh, my God. Second wind. Oh, oh we're going to get. Go. Oh, oh, my God. The down. shape just threw us heart. With an F5. One. Is that going to do two. it? Oh, two. 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 Haas Hart's not going to go out like that. Not at all. He realizes the power of those Stu Hart tapes. Or or that other the collection other of adult Triple X entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment. Naked yeah. entertainers. Naked entertainment. Bill Brasky, shout out. <laughs> Bill Brasky, shout out. Naked entertainers. Oh, man. But there's a shape. He's got the he's got the advantage here working uh, working his arm, working everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, the shape just choking him. Oh, Thumbs up. Oh, the spike. spikes him. Hits the spike. Oh, my oh. God. The big oh, leg big drop. drop. That's Is the shape going to do it here? Is he going to win the W Steve W Heavyweight Championship? Two. And two. Two. No, two. He kicked out. Nobody's kicked out of the spike two. and the leg drop combo. Oh, my God. Haas Hart, the resiliency. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Oh, oh another leg drop. Second leg drop. Can Haas Is he Hart. Go for it. Can Haas Hart come back from oh. this? He's in bad shape. The shape is him. loading up. Oh, he misses oh. his finish. Hossart comes alive. He grapples. Picks him up like he's nothing. Huge backbreaker. Backbreaker. Oh, oh holds it. Ask and test the referee to ask him. Ask him. Ask Throws him. that piece of dude down. Oh, now he's working his oh, arm. Wow. Oh. Oh, working that shoulder, working that arm. Just sort of phasing in and out of each other. Oh, Big my God. Look at that top. huge splash right there. Is that going to do it? Are we going to have a new One, W Steve W two. champion? Two. No. no. Two. Shape kicks out. Shape kicks out. Oh, shape kicks out of this. This is a back and forth action here. Now Haas Hart has the advantage. Oh, he's across up another a splash. second splash. A Haas splash. Two. And we've got a new Three. W Steve oh. W heavyweight champion. Champ. Champ. Two-time champion, first time for the WCW champion, and it's a double champion. Look at that, the excellence of execution. Is it now Haas Hart? You got to be thinking he did this without his uncle Bret Hart in his corner, who foolishly uh -oh. went against Bill Cena in the backstage area earlier tonight. What is Haas Hart thinking right now? Is he the new leader of the Hart Foundation? Is he... The only heart member that matters. Oh my goodness, that's been so much action tonight on W Steve W. Thanks everybody for tuning in for the Enforcer. We'll see you next time. What a oh. match. Oh my god. Haas Heart clean it up. Oh. That wasn't even rigged either. I've got a run in here. I've got my own oh. stray right here. Oh, oh it's and away a, she goes. But oh and there she goes. Before I could even play the song. <laughs> I need to put that song up here. <laughs>